The study of logic uses symbols generally represented with letters P, Q, or R. So the connective and uh, the symbol is looks sort of like an uh, upside down V. And uh, the type of statement, it, it is a conjunction statement. So we use that uh, when we have a conjunction statement. And the connective or uh, is like the shape of a V. And we use that when we have a disjunction uh, statement. And you're already familiar with not, which is the little tilde symbol. And that's when you have a negation of a statement. Let P represent the statement, she has green eyes, and Q represent the statement, he is 60 years old. So translate each symbolic statement into words. So in this first example, this is not P. So anytime you see that little tilde in front of uh, P, that means not. Uh, so if P is she has green eyes, uh, to negate that would be she does not have green eyes. Moving on to the next example, this is P. And then recall this symbol is and, so P and Q. So that would be she has green eyes and he is 60 years old because P is she has green eyes and Q is he is 60 years old. The next example is not P and then you have the or symbol and then Q. So not P or Q. So we need to negate P so to make it not. That means she does not have green eyes or now let's read Q. He is 60 years old and that is how you would write it. Last one, P and not Q. So we would say P and then use the word and and then negate Q. To negate Q, if Q is he is 60 years old, to negate it would be he is not 60 years old. So to write P and not Q would be she has green eyes and he is not 60 years old.